Results coming in from across the state from the May primaries. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lori Johnson. And now Frank Malloy, perhaps the biggest question in the Peach State tonight, answered very early in the evening. Governor Brian Kemp will take on Stacey Abrams once again this November. The governor easily defeating his top challenger, former U.S. Senator David Perdue. Let's take a look at the latest results right now. The governor jumped out to a huge early lead and has built on that lead, leading Purdue now by over 50 percentage points. The governor right now polling at about 73 percent. Governor Kemp obviously pleased with tonight's results. Here's some of what he had to say to his supporters this evening. I'd be more thankful for the countless hours that all of you have poured into this primary race. The doors, the dials, the small dollar donations, the yard signs, and going to events. You name it, and King, Team Kemp has done it. So thank you all so much. <laughs> and as we have always said, Team Kemp has always been built from the grassroots up, and this race has been no different. You have honored us with your time, with your efforts, and with your resources but most importantly, with your belief in our campaign. And we cannot thank you guys enough. God bless you all. Thank you. Ashlyn Webb has been following the governor's campaign today. She joins us live from his watch party at the College Football Hall of Fame in Atlanta. Ashlyn. Yes, Governor Brian Kemp stepped off the stage a little over an hour ago, but throughout the evening you could still feel that energy and excitement. A crowd chanting four more years as Governor Brian Kemp celebrated a victory, a landslide win, making him the Republican nominee for governor. A win that was expected going into tonight as he was leading all of the major polls. Kemp thanked first and foremost his family who was supported entire who supported him and tirelessly campaigned for him through his first campaign and now for his re-election campaign. He says he's running on his record, keeping Georgia the number one place to live, work, and raise families. His supporters are already getting ready for a November rematch with Democrat Stacey Abrams. Excitement all over again. We were here four years ago. Uh, the excitement is still here, the, the Thrive. Um, we're excited for November. Yeah, exactly. Four more years of the Kemp administration will, will mean that you keep more of your hard-earned money. Your communities will be safe. Your kids will be in school without fear of partisan agendas in the classroom. Parents will have a voice and we'll keep working to bring good paying jobs to every corner of our state. Now all eyes are on the big face off Kemp versus Abrams. Now just some of the rhetoric we heard tonight. Georgia isn't on Stacy's mind and her journey to Pennsylvania Avenue stops right here in the Peach State. That was coming from Governor Brian Kemp. We'll continue to follow this election reporting live in Atlanta. Ashlyn Webb, 30 W Amazing News. All right, thank you, Ashlyn. David Perdue conceded the race to Governor Kemp around 8.30 tonight. After his loss, he vowed he would work with the governor to ensure Democratic nominee Stacey Abrams would not win the November election. Kalisha Moore spent the day on the campaign trail with David Perdue, a day that ended in defeat. An hour and a half into his campaign party, former U.S. Senator David Perdue came out and let his supporters know he was conceding. It looks pretty obvious right now. I just called the governor, and I congratulate him. And I want you to do the same thing. After trailing Governor Brian Kemp in early voting, Election Day followed the same trend. As drinks continue to flow and speakers fired up supporters about getting Purdue under the Gold Dome, the spirit soon fizzled. Early results showing Kemp up by more than 70 percent. I can't explain these results. They're counter to what I saw around the state. But I am absolutely, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. But before Purdue left his supporters, he made this vow. It's emotional for all of us. We're disappointed. I get that. Let's take a few hours, lick our wounds, and tomorrow morning, you're going to hear me going to work for Brian Kemp to make damn sure that Stacey Abrams is never governor of Georgia. Governor Brian Kemp will face Stacey Abrams again in the November election. In Atlanta, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Now that the primary has been decided, it's official. Governor Kemp's victory sets up a rematch against Democrat Stacey Abrams. Now, Abrams ran unopposed in the Democratic primary for governor. In 2018, Abrams lost the governor's race to Brian Kemp by about 55,000 votes, just over 1%. She's since become a leading national Democratic voice as a voting rights activist. Today in Atlanta, she said she's running because she believes in one Georgia. 
whether it's bringing together neighborhoods or bringing together counties or bringing together an entire state. Our responsibility is to see the needs of every Georgian, to make certain those who are doing well continue to do well, but those who are trying have real opportunity, that those who are falling behind, that we catch them and lift them up. The Kemp Abrams rematch is likely to be one of the nation's most expensive and closely watched races of the year. The 2022 Georgia gubernatorial election happens November 8th. 